Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over the DD command in Linux. According to the man page, the DD command is used to convert and copy a file, but that's putting it pretty mildly because there's a lot of things that you can do with it. In this video, we're only going to go over a couple of them. We're going to go over how to securely wipe a drive. We're going to go over backing up and restoring an entire disk or a partition. We're going to go over creating a compressed disk image. We're going to go over creating a bootable USB drive, and then also file carving with DD. The syntax for the DD command is a little different from most Linux commands. Um, in DD, it uses a key, an equal sign, and then the value. So let's go ahead and go over that. So in DD, if we wanted to wipe a drive, so if we want to override it with all random data, what we would do is we would use of course, you'd have to do it as sudo. So sudo dd, and then if is the input file. So that's the key, and then the equal sign, and then dev slash urandom. And then the output file will be the partition or the drive that you want to overwrite. So of is the output file, equals, and then dev. And then for our example, we use sdb. And then by default, DD uses a block size of 512 bytes. Um, that's a little small, so in order to speed it up, we will increase the block size to one megabyte. And to explain what the block size is, I heard a real good example one time of, say you have a giant pile of jelly beans on one side of a room, and you need to move them all to the other side of the room. And there's several ways that you can do that. You could either go over and you can pick up one jelly bean, carry it to the other side of the room and set it down, go back, pick up one, carry it to the other side of the room and set it down, which would take a while. Or in the case of DD, you can pick up 512 of them, carry it to the other side of the room and set it down. Or in this example here, one megabyte, we're gonna pick up 1 million jelly beans at a time, carry it to the other side of the room and set it down. And then the last thing that we want to enter for over wiping a drive is the conb equals and then no error. And what that tells DD is that when you're writing the data to the drive, if you encounter an error, don't stop, just keep writing. And this is important for overriding a file or a drive because if you're overriding a drive, you're probably getting rid of it because it's old or it's not functioning correctly anymore. So you don't want it to stop as soon as you hit an error. So if we were to hit enter at this point, it would go ahead and overwrite the drive one time with random data. Now, if we wanted to overwrite the drive, say, seven times with random data, uh, we could use a bash script such as this. So in this bash script, we're creating a for loop, and we're going to overwrite it seven times. And the input file is wrandom. The output file is still sdb. Uh, we're using a block size of eight bytes, but we can increase that up to uh, our one megabyte that we were using earlier. And then now we're telling it, don't truncate the output and no error. Next, we can do a backup of an entire disk or partition using DD. So if we wanted to backup an entire disk, we would use DD input file equals dev. And in this case, we want to backup SD, SDB, uh, the entire disk. And then the output file, uh, we will back it up to SDC. And then we're going to use a block size of one megabyte. And we're going to give it the argument, no error. And this will do a bit by bit image of SDB and copy it over to SDC. If we wanted to back up just a partition, we could add one or two or whichever partition you wanted to back up. Now, if we wanted to restore that, we would just do it in reverse. So we would do DD and the input file would be dev sdc, and the output file would equal slash dev uh, sdb. Doing it that way, we are using an entire disk for the backup. So instead of doing that, this time we will make a compressed um, gzip image. So in order to do that, we're going to use the dd command again, input file equals dev slash sdb the drive that we want to back up. And then we're going to pipe it into gzip. 
And then we're going to use the C, tax C, which tells it to leave the file alone, don't delete it. Because by default, um, gzip will create the compressed file and then delete the original. We don't want that. And then we are going to use the caret, and then we're going to pipe it into the file that we want to create. So sh slash temp, and then image or test.ing.gzip. And that will create a compressed image file. Now we can also back this up over the internet. So say you have a server running um, across the internet and you need to back it up locally. Uh, we can do that over SSH using a command like this. So in this case, we're running the DD command and we are running it through gzip again, and then we're piping it into SSH, and then the output is um, the image that we want. Once we have our compressed image file, we can restore it using a command like this. So we're going to use gzip, and then uh, tac dc, d for decompress, and then the name of our test or our uh, image. And then the output is going to be dd output file dev sdb. And that will write the compressed uh, gzip image onto the actual physical drive. All right, so next we can also create a bootable USB drive using dd. So in order to do this, we will use this command. So we're going to use, and of course, this has to be run as sudo. So dd, the input file, is going to be the ISO that you need. So in this case, we're using the Linux Mint 20 XFCE. And then the output file is going to be the drive that you want to make bootable. And then, of course, we're going to use the block size 1 megabyte. And then once this completes, you'll have a bootable USB drive. And last, we can do file carving with DD. So this one's a little harder to explain. So I've created this uh, test document here. So if we cut the test document, we can see that it has uh, the ASCII text. This is a test file to show how file carving works with the DD command in Linux. So if we use DD and the input file um, is the test document, and then the output file is equal to we'll call it test2.txt. And then if we cat test2, you can see that it copied it over exactly. Now with ASCII, the reason that we're using that is in basic ASCII, every character is one byte. So if we change our block size to one byte in DD, we can copy over only exactly what we want. So say we want to copy um, just the is from this. So in order to do that, we're going to do dd uh, input file equals dev shim test.txt. And then we're going to do the output file is equal to dev shim, we'll call this one test3.txt. And then we're going to do a block size of one byte we are going to do skip, which is going to skip um, however many bytes we tell it. So in this case, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So five bytes, we'll skip five bytes. And then we are going to do a count. So however many bytes we want to copy over, so we only want the is, we'll do a count of two. Write it, and then we will cat out test txt and you see it only gets the is. So if we want to do the same thing, we'll change this to four, except we want everything to the end of the file. We can just leave the count off, and we'll have everything from is to the end of the file. So if we cat test four, now you can see that we have everything from is to the very end of the file. So skip. That will skip bytes as it's reading it in. And then the block size, we indicated one byte, which in ASCII is one character. And then the count uh, in the previous command up here is how many we actually want to write out. So if it was two, it's only the is. If it's three, it's is in the space. Four is is a, and then so on and so forth.
And that is a quick introduction to everything you can do with the DD command. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.